Smells good, huh? Yeah, sorry, Mama. Can't feed you. Smell it all you want. Shrimp's part of your diet. So many of them. I guess this is what happens when you cook with your back door open on Big Pine Key. Nick counted seven deer out here. What do you think, Trixie? Should we adopt one? So I've got a quick story for you today. While doing our weekly laundry at the local laundromat, I was discussing RV living with the laundry attendant there, who also lives full-time stationary in an RV. And the discussion moved forward, talking about making dinner and cooking in our RV, and it turns out she has never used her stovetop or her oven in her RV for several different reasons. The first reason was she was very concerned that the propane tank was so close to her stove that she was gonna explode her RV by using it. Second, she wasn't quite sure how to prepare meals in a smaller setup versus her sticks and bricks with a larger oven and a larger stove top. And lastly, she had a lot of difficulty lighting her oven, which RV ovens can be a little bit tricky. Listening to her concerns, it got me wondering how many other folks out there moved from a sticks and bricks into an RV full time and simply stopped cooking because they didn't know how to use their stovetop or oven. So today on Destination Now, we're going to do a little in-house adventure exploring our stovetop and our oven. And if you hate hunching over or laying on the floor to light your oven, stay tuned because I just may have that life-changing tip you've been looking for. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. RV stovetop and oven are very similar to a house setup. So if you cooked at home, I assure you, you can cook in your RV too. I also have a few other suggestions if you don't like cooking in your RV, that may also be helpful. Let's go over those first. If you're an outdoorsy type of person and you love campfires, maybe campfire cooking is right for you. Almost anything can be made on a grill or in cast iron cookware over hot coals. Oh my gosh! That looks so, that looks so good. That's finger looking good. Yeah. 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 That looks like a That does look good. Oh, right. yeah! So, yeah, we're in business. We'll add it to the menu. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Chef guy. Add it to the menu. Um, this is Chef Kai. Oh, this is, this is when we need, like, oh, one of those, um... Flipper things. No, we need, like, a blowtorch. Oh, to, like, oh I have one. You smell like... Oh, sprinkle the dink. Oh, oh, oh. Can I have that Get some light? more on there. Can torch, like please. That? Okay. Torch, 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 torch. How do I torch this? Just click the thing. Oh boy! Oh yeah, I see a crystallized. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay. Solid. This is pie 
Okay, now I'm gonna go Kay. put this on the stove. We're gonna let it sit for a few. Okay. And then we're gonna time. eat it. Yeah! yeah. 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 Are you excited? Yeah. I'm so excited. I can tell. <laughs> Holy Ooh, shit. Oh, that dude. looks like a that's the God. best piece of pizza I've ever so seen. Good. What just happened? That is the wow. Oh my God. I've never seen She was like, what? Oh Crust. Is it hot lava? Is it good? Oh my God. Okay. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Or easier yet, maybe a barbecue is right for you. Lately, our friend has been treating us to some solar oven meals, cooked hot and fresh by the power of the sun. This is a great option if you live in a place with an abundance of sun throughout the day and you have plenty of time to cook. The only issue we've seen with the solar cooker is that if left unattended, some brave animals might steal your meal. If you're anything like me, I love using my own stovetop setup. I've made pretty much anything you could think of in our truck camper, from cakes to cookies, banana bread, pizzas, done stir fries, rice bowls, steaks, chicken burgers, hot dog, chili, sushi taquitos. Oh, sushi taquitos, I love it. And our favorite meals we like to call Jacqueline Creations. First, to put some of the earlier concerns at rest, I'd like to point out that yes, propane tanks in campers and RVs are very close to the stove, but think about a barbecue. They've got those little propane tanks right next to the grill. Never any issues there. Secondly, not all RV stoves and ovens are created equally. I happen to have a three burner stove top, which is rather large for our truck camper, and then we use the flat cast iron grill on the top for added surface area when cooking. And sometimes we have to rotate pots or pans around just to accommodate the smaller space. Oftentimes, with some patience is needed. RV ovens can be a little bit tricky. I'm fortunate, mine cooks about as evenly as a household unit. But if yours does not, which is often the case, try adding a pizza stone to the lowest possible position in your oven to help dissipate the heat so your food cooks more evenly. Another idea is to just lower the cooking temperature down 25 to 50 degrees and cook your meal a little bit longer. I would also consider the type of cooking where you're using. I find that glass pans tend to cook a little more evenly throughout with less issues of burning your food. And if lighting your oven sucks because you have to hunch or get on the ground to light it, you'll love this tip and I hope it works for you. I've been lighting my suburban oven this way for nearly three years now and it works every single time. Are you ready for this life-changing tip? Okay, first you're gonna open your oven door about halfway, standing directly over it and looking down at the reflection in the door. You should be able to see a little metal reflection somewhere in the middle. This is easiest with a clean oven door. You're gonna turn your knob to the pilot position and hit the igniter button. You'll hear clicking as your oven tries to ignite, and in that reflection, you will see little sparks. You may have to move a little to catch the reflection in the right spot, but eventually that will catch. You'll see a little blue flame. Now continue to hold that pilot knob in for another 10, 15 seconds, and then gently turn it to the temperature you want, and you'll watch that reflection ignite blue flames throughout. You'll also be able to hear your oven light as well. This is the best hack in my opinion and now it's yours to share. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found some helpful tips. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next Tuesday on another adventure. How was your day? Perfect.
What'd you do today? Nothing. <laughs> you didn't do a single thing today? No.